In the last video, we learned how to index exchange rates to a base period. This time, we might be interested in comparing the movements of the yen and pound against the dollar over a shorter time period. We might be interested in comparing the movements of the yen and pound against the dollar over a shorter time period. Let's re-index the data to a more recent time period, say April 2009, during the unfolding of the subprime mortgage crisis. We now have a new base period. But the process of how to index the data is the same. Divide each value of the data series by its value in the new base period to get indexes for both series that are based in April 2009. Notice that we can do this re-indexing to the new base period either with the original raw exchange rate data or with the already indexed data. Now we can grab the two exchange rate indexes again. We can see that the yen and the pound have both appreciated against the dollar. By changing the value of the axes, we can highlight the different dynamics of these two currencies against the dollar during these turbulent financial times. One of the interesting aspects of indexing is that we can judge approximately how much the currencies have appreciated by reading off the vertical axes. The yen is appreciated about 18%. Its last index value is 82. 100 minus 82 is 18, whereas the pound is appreciated only about 8%. Its last index value is 92. 100 minus 92 is 8. 